Uh, just how how different and what sticks out about how different this year is now that you're getting a lot of reps and you're taking all those snaps that you maybe didn't get at this. Well, I mean, you didn't get anything at this time last year, but that you didn't get in, in practice last year. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Um, you know, completely different situation in the QB room, you know, also and in, in being a year older, it's it's great, you know. Having an idea of the offense, you know, having a firm grasp of it going into camp is so much different, you know, year two versus year one. And then obviously, you know, getting the reps and just going out there and playing football again, you know, taking snaps under center, going through progressions, everything. It's, it's, it's been a blast so far during OTAs. Uh, Stephen Holder. Uh, along the same lines, Jacob, I mean, how, how much did you have to, to, to dig last year just to, to make sure that you were able to grow uh, because it was such a weird year. I mean, you're the number three quarterback and there's no off season, really no preseason. Um, how, how were you able to ensure that you were able to grow uh, and not, for lack of a better word, you know, waste the year, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely a challenge in, in terms of, you know, the situation we were in. You know, I think that was league around. You know, the guys that were in my position had to fight, you know, to to get better, whether it was, you know, the after practice reps, just just locking in and visualizing while the other quarterbacks are playing, you know, continuing to take your notes, you know, all season long in the team, in the meeting rooms. Um, you know, a huge, a huge factor for me was having Philip and Jacoby as, as mentors last year. So, you know, they helped me lock in, they answered my questions, you know, I was able to engage with them and ask a bunch of different questions. So, I mean, I definitely do not believe I wasted a minute last year here. Um, you know, I felt, you know, given the circumstances, I, I grew tremendously and, you know, I'm just looking forward to, uh, you know, this, this upcoming season. And just to, to follow up, you know, you have the, you have these physical skills that people talk about, but it, it it's probably harder to display them when, you know, the mental part isn't there yet. Uh, are you are you in better position now to, you know, to maybe display some of what you can do physically because you got the mental? Does that make sense? Yeah, and and, and you know, and and going with that, you know, I, I had the mental. I was learning the mental last year, but I wasn't getting a lot of the reps. You know, okay, and I think right. I think with you know. Yes, understanding the mental and then now getting the reps, I think those two together, you know, will, will help me, you know, be able to show these coaches and these guys, you know, some things that I can do. And obviously, a ton of room for improvement, you know, always going to continue to grow and, and uh, you know, just look, look to get better. Chap? Yeah, Jacob, anytime we talk to Frank or Chris about you, they sort of say, and maybe you would agree, that the next step is playing. I mean, the biggest detriment last year, I assume, was the preseason being canceled out. Just talk about the, the just not being able to play and what being able to play will mean in, in, in August. Yeah, I mean, you know, like we said before, last year was, was very tough. I think for all rookies going into the league, you know, not given a chance to have those three or four preseason games before the, you know, the regular season started was tough, you know. Um, you know, a lot of guys getting cut without, you know, ever being able to prove themselves, you know, you know, people – not going out to be not being able to go out in the field and, and make those mistakes and learn from them, you know, here and there. And, and, you know, for me, it was, it was, it was not only that, but not getting a lot of reps. And I, you know, I think as I continue to get reps and I continue to, you know, have these on the field um, practices with these guys, you know, I'll, I'll only continue to improve and grow. So I, you know, I'm excited for this upcoming preseason to, you know, to have, have the shot to go out there and compete and, uh, you know, really looking forward to it. JJ. Jacob, uh, Coach Brady mentioned you and him put in quite a bit of extra work last year. What did you take away from that, and and how is that helping you out now as you are getting these reps? Uh, yeah, I mean it's just you know you know like I mentioned before the the details of of taking notes on, you know because if you don't write things down, you know so many things are said in those meetings you're going to forget. So you know taking the notes was huge for me, and then you know this off season just going back and reviewing, you know start from ground zero and going back through the base installs and this and that. Look, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I got a ton of room for improvement, but I feel like what I did last year and the going into this offseason, I've I've taken strides and, and and going out there in OTAs now I have a I have a better understanding this year than I did last year. You know, granted it is year two versus year one, so it should be that way, but I, I feel a lot more comfortable going in to this preseason. That keeper. Jacob, what's one or two things you've learned about Carson Wentz that you didn't know before he became a teammate? Um, so two things I've learned about Carson Wentz, uh, you know, I think, you know, overall, I think he's a great guy, you know, he's very approachable. Um, you know, he asks questions. We, you know, I ask him questions. He asks me questions. We kind of go back and forth that way. Um, you know, he's invited me to, 
um, a few of his workouts, you know, just kind of see how they go. And, and, you know, I think, I think in terms of, of being a leader, he's, he, he brings the juice out in the field. He's got high energy. He's a guy that, that, that people tend to like, um, in this locker room. And, you know, I'm looking forward to, to working with him this year and, and learning from him and, and, uh, you know, just growing another year, um, with another veteran. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to that relationship we're going to build. It can be a little difficult for a quarterback to kind of acclimate themselves in a new locker room, right? I mean, it's you got to earn the respect of the players. Have you seen him do that? I know it's early, but how have you seen him sort of, you know, get to know everyone? Yeah, I mean, he's he's done a tremendous job of, you know, whether, you know, whether it's in meetings or, or just walking around the locker room, you know, he engages guys, he goes up and introduces himself. He, uh, you know, I think he's one of the guys who could talk to anyone in the locker room. You know, I, I know there's, you know, stuff being said about, this and that in Philly, but as far as I've seen here, he's, he's been nothing but great. And I think he'll be a huge, uh, huge addition to this team. So, like I said, I'm excited to work with him. And I think everybody here uh, feels the same way. George Bremer. Jacob, obviously life can move at a lightning pace in the NFL. A year ago, uh, you're a rookie and obviously don't don't take a snap. This year, uh, you turn around and obviously Carson Wentz is here. But after that, you're the second longest tenured quarterback in the room. What's that situation? I guess this is sort of a little bit of whiplash for you in some ways. Yeah, I mean, it's like like I mentioned before, it's completely different. You know, uh, you know, last year with Philip and Jacoby. Now this year, we got Carson and Sam and Jalen. Um, you know, I think we got a, another great batch of QBs, you know, younger, a younger room this year, but, you know, still a, an exciting room. So, you know, there, there's, there's a lot of great personalities in that room that we all mesh well together, you know, love to compete, you know, love to go out and get better. So, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to working with the guys in the room and, you know, competing for that, you know, for that, uh, for that role. And, you know, whatever, whatever it takes to get the team better and, and win games is, is what I'm looking for. Kevin Bowen. Jacob, were you surprised at all that uh, they did sign a veteran QB? And what message do you think that sends to you as you compete for this backup job? Look, you know, it, it is the NFL and, and uh, you know, a lot of things happen in the offseason, a lot of movement. So, you know, I told myself going into it, I wasn't going to be shocked no matter what happened. So when we signed Carson, I wasn't shocked. When we didn't sign another veteran, I wasn't shocked. Um, you know, that's just kind of the mindset I've had, you know, and it's always going to be what can I do to compete and improve and, and grow on my game. Um, and I think that's just the mindset I'm going to have going into this season, you know, not looking to, not looking for a spot on the depth chart, just more just to go and compete and, and whatever I can do to help this team win and improve is, is what I'm going to do. All righty. Thanks for your time, Jacob. Absolutely. Thanks guys.